26 million people have liked his Facebook page. He has 4.3 million Instagram followers and 3.2 million Twitter followers. We are talking about actor and singer Tyrese Gibson and his latest album, Black Rose, is out now. And in case you didn't know, he's hilarious. Check this out. You got a big Black Rose cover! What? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get him. One of the hottest tracks is already on heavy rotation on the radio. Shame. Take a listen to this. And his fans are sounding off on Twitter. Jen Gemini 8 said, oh my goodness, Tyrese killed it with Black Rose. He is putting the groove back into R&B. Four-time Grammy-nominated artist Tyrese is here to talk about Black Rose. Ty Ty, my brother, my friend. What are you doing? I'm trying to just, you are know, you these putting, knuckles are you putting lotion right. on your all right, this, these knuckles <laughs> wasn't right, and I'm going live on TV with my baby girl. You know, Roxy, I'm always trying to impress you because you are just too damn beautiful. And I'm like, you're not going you, to see me with no ashy knuckles. That's not happening. I've, I've, I've seen you in worse situations, Ty. We're not going <laughs> to talk about your backyard pool parties that you have at your house right now. But listen, I'm, first of all, I'm going to put you out there on blast, because I really am appreciative of the sit-down inter interview. But your family, I want a live performance when you're back in L.A., because you're in New York City right now. I promise you, I got you. That's my word. Roxy, All right. I want to I want to put something out there right now. Go for it. The state of R&B is is not doing too well because because I'm trying to figure out how can I get people to do something that they don't do anymore, which is buy a full album. I mean, mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was never Luther Vandross featuring uh, Run DMC. It was never Marvin Gaye featuring Curtis Blow. It was always a full-on R&B album that you can listen to from top to bottom that didn't have 15 different rappers on it in order for it to get any kind of attention. So for all of the real R&B fans out there, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, look at my hands, it's greasy. Um, I'm just letting y'all know <laughs> iTunes and Google Play, I don't want, I need your support. I'm not in this for the money. If I was trying to make money, I would only do movies because they'd be getting your boy right. What I'm trying to do is I am trying to make a statement because if R&B is still selling like hot fish grease, everybody in the labels and all of the mess is going to be sent. This is what we need to be doing. Now, guess what? I want to apologize. I'm not twerking. I don't know nobody named Nene. Watch me, Nene. I ain't got none of that on this album. I got none of that. I got a full on R&B album that was done with my heart and my soul, and you can press play on it from top to bottom, and I'm inviting you to join me and be a part of this. And this is the last thing Ty, I'm gonna I, say. What, go ahead, baby, say? I'm listening. No, I, I was, was gonna I was, say I was that, gonna say, go ahead. I'm sorry, I was gonna say, um, cause this is a real commercial right now. Um, you, remember the, you remember those experiences <laughs> when you used to go to the store and experience like album packaging, where you used to like go through the credits mm -hmm. and pull out all of the sleeves, and it'd be like, Oh man, I got my favorite artist. Like, it's here, Black Rose. It took me three and a half years to get this done. I went through everything imaginable that tried to take my legs from under me. I lost my girl of five years that no one knew I was in a relationship with. I was in court fighting for three years for more custody of my beautiful daughter. I lost my brother, Paul Walker. All of these things got in the way of me trying to focus on doing music. I put my heart and soul into this album, and I just need y'all to help me make a statement. People, people say so, that R&B fans are dead. R&B singers don't get that. no attention unless there's a rapper on it. I need some support right now. I need, I need to ask you about that, though. I mean, there's a lot of R&B singers now that are, are saying that R&B is dead. It is hard to sell those albums. It's hard to get that attention back into R&B. So back when it, it was you, it was Brian McKnight, it was Joe, it was Jodeci, it was R. Kelly, it was fun R&B to listen to. How do you even bring the state of R&B back to that and get that attention back to it? Because it's a different generation. It's a different world. And you, you yourself right now back, are saying... Listen, 
the world will fall in line with everything that's popular. Think about when Avatar came out, all of a sudden every movie was in 3D. Everything that wins, everybody is like robots. They're ready to fall in line. And here's the thing. I'm not looking, like, I'm not selling you on nothing. Like, I'm good. I want to make a statement. I want people to decide, you know what? When is the last time you bought a full album? Like, for real. Like, mm -hmm. for real. Think about it. Because of iTunes, you can download individual songs. When is the last time you bought a full album? So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Black Rose. <laughs> this is it. All right, Ty, I need this to know, is, is this really going to be your last album, though? I don't, I don't believe you. You got that beautiful studio that you love to hang out in. I don't believe this is your last album. You know what? I might need some inspiration to do it again. Right now, with the time and energy that I put into this album and with the state of R&B and all the above, nobody's going to put this much time and energy and it feels like they've lost an audience. So again, I want to make a statement because if this Black Rose album wins multiple Grammys, like they don't even uh, telecast the, the R&B category at the Grammys no more. It's in the pre-telecast. It's like, yeah, yeah, get back mm. there. We'll get to you in a second. So it's like, for me, right. I just want to make a statement. And guess what, y'all? I promise you, I come from real R&B pedigree. I'm not one of them, girl, lay up in the bed, let me put them. I'm a re I do this thing for real. <laughs> I do this thing I know for you real, do, and Ty. I do it live. So I want y'all to support real R&B music. Roxy, I love you. I, I, I love you too, baby boy. I'm sorry I have to uh, to cut you off right now. We got to get to a commercial break. But what I'm going to do is invite you to come to the studios in L.A. for a live performance of Black Rose right here on The Daily Show. We got that? Done. I got you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Look at you, baby. Your skin is glowing. <laughs> you look like you just oh, fell gosh. out of a bag of money. <laughs> nah, because I put lotion on before I got on TV. <laughs> Relax and take notes, all right? Ty Ty, I love you. Thank you so much, guys. Listen, the I celebrity love you. star. Black power Rose, is baby. Still coming. We did it, baby. <laughs> Come on.